very well welcome to this Mashuja Day special coverage. Of course, in studio with me are uh, two gentlemen. That is former Kiambu governor and the leader of Tujibebe Wakenya Party leader, Honorable William Kabogo, as well as Professor Peter Kwagwanja, the political analyst. And of course, we're just speaking about what we expect from tomorrow's uh, celebrations and also the political scene in the country. So just allow me to welcome my third guest for this evening who's joining us virtually, and that is um, Honorable Mauka Maore, the Member of Parliament of Igembe North. Today, the ODM Brigade and Raila Odinga was in Chuka. Can we officially say that the people have settled on Raila Odinga? Well, I think what happens with the issue of uh, political uh, minds or leaders they may think what they have uh, swallowed, they may wish it to be the wish also of the people. Now, what we are uh, facing today is that uh, yesterday and today we have, uh, we invited the right Honorable Raila Odinga to visit it, the eastern part of the mountain. And uh, we had a good uh, trip with him yesterday in uh, those parts of uh, uh, Meru, and I know the, the major rally was in my constituency, Lare, and uh, we had a grand welcome, I think, which has not been witnessed in the area before, for Raila Odinga. And for that reason, it was quite a success. The other areas where we had the stopovers were quite good as well. Uh, today we had the stopovers in Meru town, again in Nkubu, and then uh, Azimio in Chuka, where we had met leaders. And then the leaders' uh, meeting, when uh, they, doing, they did the Azimio, is about our expectations, or our or Raila taking and giving he, us his pledges, and we also gave him our wish list. So in that process, we finished, then we went to Chuka town, and then Ronyanges, and then the end was a big, big rally in Embu town. So what I can say is that the mountain has uh, opened their eyes. They have promised uh, Raila that they will be able, in the period remaining, to cleanse the lies they said about him, because actually they, they, they told him openly, we have been lying about you. And the reason being that in 2002, 2007, 2013, we had our Kibaki in the year 2002, 2007. Okay. Then the issue of 2013, 2017 as well, we had our Uhuru Kenyatta. So this time, uh, we are looking at Raila Odinga in a different lens. And for that reason, that is why we are uh, taking him around those who are politicians, like myself, who has been supporting the hardship okay. between uh, Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta since 2018. All right. In uh, most of my political discourse, actually has been outside parliament is about the hardship. Okay. And it, it was for quite a crowning moment for me yesterday to see people in my constituency come and vote with their bodies and their feet and their ears to Raila Odinga. All right. Right, Moshibua. So, Andre Kabogo, just to circle back on Governor Waiguru's point on an indirect endorsement from the president. Of course, the president arrived in Kirinyaga and he was doing his rounds. And in one of his rounds, he spoke in his local dialect, which is Kikuyu. And he said or sent a message, which when translated said, I sent a visitor here. I hope you received him well. If you we look into this statement and how things have been going on, can you? say this visitor that was sent was Raila Odinga? Well, um, I didn't hear it myself. Yeah. But if he did say so, yeah. then one would only imagine yes, because he's the one who just passed there. Okay. Mumeona uh, Mugeni, Wangu Mimini Yeah. I don't think he would be talking about William Ruto. But having said that, I have said before and I'll say it again, the president can only say what he thinks uh, he would imagine would be a good leader after him. Uh, but uh, he can only try and persuade because that has only one vote 
the president has a vote, but as a leader, who actually is our leader in, in central Kenya, um, in, in terms of seniority of uh, the region, the mountain, he would say, Kulingana na mimi, maoniango, yule anafa, uhoyu. But that is the same thing President Moy said in Kasarini. Okay. In, in Kasarani. All right. He said, Mimi ni meangania hi maneno yote, na yule ni meona anaweza hi kusukuma. Yeah. Ni huyu uhuru kinata. Big team. So, with that in mind, I'm sure the president is wise. All right. Um, but be that as it may, we, the people of the mountain, we got our own brains. I, I don't know where it appears like there's a vacuum of thinking. There's a vacuum of knowledge. There's a vacuum of awareness. It is not there. Just that we do not have a front runner for, president, uh, for presidency in uh, the coming elections okay. does not mean we do not know where we want to go. All right. Well, Prof we don't know where we want to go. Oh, yeah. We are a little bit divided because that's where the concentration of uh, vote hunting is. Yes. Because it's the largest single block. Uh, and that's why I keep saying, selfishly, uh, so, from the mountain, guys, stop. Let's not show our emotions now. Okay. Stop. Let them go to other places also and hunt as we sort our house. Yeah. Sit together. And if we can sit and think and talk as a, a, a one people, no one will be able to form government out there without us. Without us. It is simple mathematics. All right. Well, let me just bring Prof into this. Prof, if you look at what Honorable Kabogo has mentioned, his talks of the Mount Kenya being a formidable sort of deciding factor come next year. And of course, he's also admitted that there's some sort of division and friction here and there which might compromise that unity. Now, you find that Mount Kenya is in a very precarious situation that it has never been in in terms of putting forward a formidable presidential candidate, which might be the case come next year. And tying it to the statement where the National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi said that that is not the case, they can as well be a formidable candidate from the Mount Kenya come next year. How true is that statement, even judging from what is happening currently? Mm. Uh, it is true. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> we are talking about a political process. Yeah. Now, uh, what I concur with from uh, Honorable Kabogo's position is to, to say that uh, Mount Kenya is not a forest where you're going hunting. Let's be clear about that. We talk about human beings, and human beings are about interests. So it is who articulates the interest of the region better who is going to win the day. Yeah. Now, assuming that uh, uh, Moshimiwa uh, Ruto's model wins the region, and uh, Raira's model wins the region, the next question is, do they understand what the interests of Mount Kenya people are? And how are they articulating the politics? Failure to that, then it means that we'll have uh, we will not only have our, we already have our regional candidates. Um, Mwangwairi has declared he's a candidate. Uh, Moshimo Kabogo has his party and he wants to be a candidate. Yeah. Moturi is a candidate. I participated in taking to Mukoro Wanyagadanga. <clears throat> I believe very strongly he can make a presidential candidate. I think Mother Karua can make a good presidential candidate. She has been, she had vied for it before. I believe the, the, we have enough people who can make candidates. I think the big question will be, um, uh, whether or not uh, we feel that we are taken seriously or we are taken for granted. The moment yes. we are taken f for granted, it will take like that and you find one yes. of the leaders, will, will, I mean, people will rally around okay. one of the leaders. But for now, I think what is happening is for 57 years plus, yeah. this region has all either had one of its own in office or one of its own as the lead candidate in national competition. Why the country is a little bit quiet now is because the running force behind Kenyan politics has always been Kikuyu. The unsaid for one against one, that has crumbled. There is okay. no for one against one now. Right. It is uh, Kenya 
versus Kenya. Okay. So you look at it. And, and I think Kenya people are part of that larger picture now. Okay. So when they say, I want to be a presidential candidate, they are taken like any of the other uh, candidates. candidates. And I think okay. that should be the spirit as we move forward. All right, Prof. Fair enough, gentlemen. We also have to pay some bills. So allow us once again to take a short break right here on this special Masuja Day celebrations and coverage. We'll get back in just a short while.